once we've got our function blocks and, and UDT tables set up on the PLC, um, we're, we're ready to, to start the, the visualization side of things. And this is for WinCC Professional. And this particular version I'm looking at is WinCC Professional um, version 15.1. So if we have a look over here, we need to, to, to drag in a few things. So if I come over to my uh, library project on the master copy screens, just select that whole um, folder if you want, or you can drag them in individually. You've got your main menu and system. Now, if you've already made a start on your WinCC project, you're not going to need to bring these in, but it does make your life a lot easier if you're trying to learn this and you'll see as see as we go through because there's there's some already set up screens with the face plates all linked for you on on this so drag those in then you need to drink take your uh, tags in so put those into your tag tables and i'm going to show you how to edit those next and then you need to uh, select which product that you're going to add now you may be using all of these but in this case i'm using the citrans p so you would take that and put that into to your project. Once you've done that, there's a little, some little clever code. So we need to, under script, you've got this visual basic code. You need to bring that into your project as well. And then we're ready to, to, to edit the, um, the UDT table. This list tags, uh, tag list has a, connection to my PLC so it's important um, we get this right so this is the UDT table if you like so when we first open this up everything's pink um, we need to delete what we haven't got in our project first so we're only looking at the P320 in this case so keep that there don't delete the trend we, we need that so um, but it's still pink and the reason is in my project over here it's using hmi connection one so i need to change that to the correct connection for my project and then i need to rewire these these tags to link to the correct place on my plc we have this function here so which is synchronize rewire whatever you want to call it um, at this stage just so it makes your life a lot easier don't start changing tag names and and whatever so on tick that and then we want paths of the plc tag and data to match and if we click on synchronize that's now done and we're ready to go on to the next stage so if we're using the the demo project it's relatively easy if you go on the main you've got this list demo and that's that's our home screen and here you've got um I'm not sure what these are called, but this is like the visualization. And when you click on this, it opens the, the main faceplate where you can start programming it. Now, because part of the project and I haven't changed any of the tag names, the beauty of it is it's all set up. So if we just have a look under here, what you would normally have to do, your interface, you link that to the um, tag in your... Uh, UDT table so if we have a look just click on this button you'll see where it is so there's your, your tags P3 P320 or 420 that's why the X is there and then select that so that's set and then under events you've got to put in on here it's a left click and it's going to start my visual basic code and then it needs to find the the data in the uh, UDT table. So you can see there, there's the Citrans uh, information. So when you put it in manually, you've got to change this to a string and physically type that in so you can cut and paste it. And then your symbol name is um, in your uh, screens. So if I go to my Citrans P, you'll see here. So what you could do is just copy that, Control C, and put that into their control V up to the underscore because the zero is your start screen and then you can see that there so 
if you're putting it in manually, what you would do is in your libraries, you would go to face plates, you would then select your P320, drag it in, and then if I go to the interface, you can see here the sections I've been talking about, events, and um, then under events, you would select at the bottom, there's your VB functionality. Of course, if you forgot to put the VB code in, then that option is not going to be there. And then, like I said, don't forget to turn those to strings, otherwise you won't be able to type in your value. So the last thing to do is just start get your start screen set up. So if you go into runtime settings, you can see here start screen L frame set and there it is. So you need to have that as your start screen. And then your design needs to be set to WinCC light or some of the icons won't show up um, as they're supposed to. So get that set. Um, then make sure you clicked at the top. And if you click on the start simulation, that will do a compile and start the simulation on your PC. Make sure your PC has a connection to your um, uh, PLC. Once you've compiled and started your, your runtime simulator, you'll be presented with, with your screen. Uh, again, this may look different depending on, on what your project is, but this is the demo project that uh, comes with the library. So to, to enter where the face plates are, we, we click on that little arrow button and you'll see here, these are all grayed out because it physically has no connection. We haven't brought in the uh, face plate connect, connections and the UDT, but the P320 here has a value. Um, I can tell you that that is wrong. The value on my pressure transmitter is minus 4.5 millibar, which you can see in the top right hand corner. If I go to my library faceplate, this is pretty much common. Um, I can see here all these stars. It's because we haven't done a read. There's something connected to my heart input. And the heart is, you know, the communication's been established, which you can tell with this value here. So there's my value that's on the display. I need to make this milliamp value read the same. So to, to do that, we click on this circle button and you have this read configuration. You can see it, see here unknown firmware. So if I just pull this down so you can see the, uh, the main block. What will happen when I read, it should start to bring in the tag and everything that's programmed on the instrument. So it's done its read. Uh, everything is being done acyclically. So your, your process value is fine. So this is my scaled milliamp um, input into the PLC output from the instrument. It's in an alarm for some reason, which we'll come on to very briefly. I don't want to go through the whole faceplate, but everything can be programmed through here. You can see your quick start. If I just go through this very quickly, you will see under here what my milliamp output is scaled to. Okay, um, I'll close that. I can program it. I can I can read the parameters. So it, it, it's it's there's quite a bit of functionality. I've got gradient changes. If I click on my limit view, I've got my alarms here. So if I if I exceed any of these in either direction, I'm getting an alarm. The the nice thing here is if I transfer my limits, it's transferring those to to my device. So on my device, I get a, a limit alarm as well digitally. So if I'm using a tool like PDM or Sutran Sam IQ, which is a web-based uh, asset management tool, I'll get that alarm remotely as well. So um, that's the uh, first look at one of the heart devices on um, the new Citrans library for TIA portal. Thanks for listening.